They say life is about the little things, those moments we unplug. Packing up the camper after a long week, making room for new memories. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. If you've wandered the mountains, or ridden a trail, if you've discovered beauty that's left you speechless, or laughed like you haven't laughed in years, if the food tastes remarkably better, and the friendship is somehow deeper, you've probably been camping. You and me, meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever. It's the best America has to offer, and it's meant to be shared. RVing is for everyone. I just love the way Sean does interviews. I mean, <laughs> the dude is just pro up one side and down the other. Yeah. Absolutely love that guy. Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Chris Young here, joining my friends from Country Outdoors, Zach and Mary. Um, have you guys noticed anything weird? while we've been doing the tour? I keep thinking I'm seeing things. Is that is it just me? It must just be you. Must, I okay. don't know. I mean, you know, it, it has been some long weeks, you know, so maybe it's just some... Maybe you're you know, tired. The tired hallucinations. Yeah. It could be, you know, but I could have swore I saw... Are Yetis real? I, I think so. Okay. All right. All right. Is anyway, Chewbacca real? Yes. Okay. Well, yes. maybe Yeti is. I use the Chewbacca defense daily. <laughs> <laughs> Yeti would be very comfortable here in Minnesota. Yeah. Yes, it would be. And actually, we talk about some Yetis. Uh, so I'm excited about that. We're going to be doing those coming up. Oh. Um, so I love when we get a chance to bring the pros, the experts with us to have you guys really talk about RVs that you pick. And this week, you guys picked a really good one. You got the Forest River XLR Nitro Boost 29 QBS. Now, tell me why toy haulers are so important. And then we're going to have Fritz walk us through it. Man, when we're on the road using our camper, we're using it. We're right. in and out of hunting camps, fishing camps. We're, we're using it to, a full, to the full potential. So having that backspace, even if we're not carrying an ATV, we're using it as a mudroom. We're throwing yep. stuff in and out of it and just abusing it, really. Yep, Fritz is in the kitchen there. Hey, Fritz, would you mind just giving us a little circle around the kitchen so we can see that counter space? Because that's really important for me when I'm cooking. No, Zach, right. Zach you wouldn't have the really space. know about that too much. But for me, <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> for me, it is. I like to have a bowl that I can put out with some fresh fruit. Right. But, and Zach so, can throw it out with some duck. I mean, you know, he can, he right. can, he can prep some turkey and some duck. Amen yeah. to yeah. that. The girl's on the outside. <laughs> and uh, can I see the dinette as well there, Fritz? Because yeah, that's so, really important to me. So here, so, so Ooh, this this XLR Nitro Boost uh, 29 QBS, 36 feet, 10 inches long, roughly 8,450 pounds dry. Uh, it's it's nice because the width on the inside of this one's a little bit wider than some other RVs. You got 102 inches of width in there, so very nice. The Thomas Paine recliners with the sectional in the middle. I like these because you got the heat, you got the massage, you got the LED light, and it is that Thomas Paine pillow top very comfortable open those windows up kick that thing out and you got yourself a very nice nights of sleep right there surrounded by big beautiful panoramic windows look at that with the Lots wood of balances natural light, which yes. is really important to me well and the thing that i like about toy haulers is the separation of space yes you almost get like a separate apartment in the back where you know sure if, if you need to do side by sides and this one is side by side compatible uh, if you need to bring the atvs the, the golf carts the kayaks whatever you having that back there toy haulers are the way to go yeah. but if you need to sleep six people or more comfortably and you want that separate garage area slash apartment area toy haulers are the best most versatile rvs that are out there and so speaking of versatility <laughs> yeah yeah look at my entertainment Great. center with entertainment. fireplace love that that yep. see i i love the fireplace it just adds such ambience mm -hmm. to the feel when you're inside sometimes yeah. even when we had the old um the travel trailer and it was like summer i just turned the cooling on really really high yeah. and turn the fireplace on and shut the windows when I wanted to have a rainy day at home. Right. It's, not, it's <laughs> nice, right? Because you do get that ambiance. You get, yeah. and, look, and these have those little uh, different colors on the backlights. So you yeah. can do the blues, the reds. It. And that's 5,000 BTUs of heat coming off of there too. I love yeah. that. Hey, Fritz.
Fritz, would you mind going into the bedroom, please? Yeah, I really like having the two doors. Yes, it, it, it gives you, even though, you know, this one is 36 feet long and you don't have a true walk around, mm-hmm. uh, it gives you the feeling of having that walk around. So yeah, you're able to get up and not space. wake up your partner. Yeah, and that's that high density foam mattress, solid wood cabinetry, mirrored wards on both sides. You got your TV backer right there on the right hand wall. Loads of storage. Yes, Wardrobes. lots of storage underneath. And the great thing about this one, Underneath the bed there in the master, the storage is accessible from the outside. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. so that, that's actually where we have the table stored, uh, you know, underneath. Oh, look at there that. There we go. Fritz is strong that. enough. He can hold that giant camera and lift it all at once. Yeah, yeah and you can see the table there, the pass-through storage accessible. That's, that's really nice cool. because when you come back from hunting or you come back from fishing, or you're just doing any type of act- outdoor activity, you got the laundry basket in there. You don't have to keep that stuff inside. You can exactly. put it underneath and you know get the laundry basket out yeah, later. Storage is absolutely key. And what I love as well is how high the ceilings are as well. It mm-hmm. really makes the space feel a lot bigger and larger yes. than what it is. And if you've got tall gentlemen in the house too, there's plenty of room for them to walk around. Yeah, this one being full profile, I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be 11 feet high on the outside, uh, which, which gives you some really good clearance on the inside. Yes. Uh, and when you talk about the ACs that are stacked on top, I mean, you can still get under, you know, most bridges, but uh, it, it does kind of max that limit of, I'm going to get all the height I need, but stay still Sweet low enough. and safe for driving for yeah. what I need. Large ward storage there as well. I mean, just a all around uh, well-built camper. And uh, I'm a fan of Forest River because of the way that they do their manufacturing. They, they have this sustainable manufacturing process. I'll talk about it. Uh, a little bit in some of the walkthroughs. They like to reduce and reuse to really shrink that carbon footprint. But in doing so, they're able to pass along a lot of discounts and savings to the people who are buying their RVs. Hey, Fritz, do you mind taking us to the bathroom? It's very important. (laughs) (laughs) And this one's great because you got a pass-through bathroom. So it's accessible from the garage or the inside. Mm -hmm. And... uh, yeah, we're going to, and Fritz, we'll, we'll, we'll actually come back to the kitchen here in just a second, but see if you can open that door and peek in the bathroom. So there's our access to the garage. See, that's really nice if you've got a guest mm-hmm. that they can stay in the garage. You've, you can have your own little separate entries there and they don't have to come into your bedroom to get into it. Right. And you notice you got that big skylight there yep. above the shower. And granted, with the high ceilings, space. you got the big max vent air fan there that'll move a foot of air per second. Wow. That, so if you got a hot camper, cut that on before you know it, it's cooled down. Stainless steel sink right there. Brushed nickel fixtures around there too. Plastic bowl on the foot flush. Medicine cabinet right there that's mirrored. Plenty of room to do the prepping to get done and you got those raised lips inside the medicine cabinet which and you can, can keep put anything your, in there. you cosmetics in there so yep. they don't go knocking around. They won't fall or your down. your toothbrushes and everything which is great. I mean how bad is it when you pull up to the campsite and everything has just fallen out? Yeah. Well we don't have that problem because we use our storage well. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> but the first time we went we did and right. so we learned and there is a reason why there are so many doors and oh. closets and ways to store your things because it's really important. And then we got that single surround shower, the corner notches, the shower nozzle. I like how the shower nozzles these days, you know, most of the manufacturers put these in there, but I like that because if you do bring the the, the dogs or the kids along with you, it makes cleaning them off so much easier. When back in the day, you used to just have that spout that came out the top, man. I mean, and water would just go everywhere. So having that's a much, you know, it's much nicer. That part's important to me. There needs to be enough space. If you're over six foot tall, you know yes. what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. yeah and that yeah, yeah. one looks perfect. I mean, I, I don't have a whole lot of hair to have to worry about, you know. <laughs> but when I do wash it, I want to be able to not rub my knuckles on the ceiling when I'm doing it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, there we see some of that beautiful slip-resistant <laughs> flooring there that's laminated. And the ducts uh, in the floor, uh, this one has dual 13.5 BTU air conditioners, one in the garage, one in the main cabin. The main cabin is ducted air conditioning, and it's got a 35,000 BTU furnace. That's great. So chalk that on top of that R7 insulation that's around the exterior of this camper, as well as a heated and enclosed underbelly. This one's going to do a good job of keeping the temperatures where you need it and keeping, you know, you cool when you want to be cool and warm when you want to stay warm. Uh, Speaking of cool when you want to be cool, do you know this one comes with a 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge on it? Yeah. I like that. Fridge, let's let's hop into the kitchen real quick. If you can get that giant camera rig over there. Let me tell you, Fritz is a hero. (laughs) I mean, not, not only is he the same size as an NBA player, he's got this big giant camera rig on his shoulder. He's trying to move around these small hallways. 
That's what I'm talking about. Yes. I like to be stocked up when we're on the road. After last year with the pandemic, it mm -hmm. was so important to just have everything in the camper and not, you know, we didn't know if we could go to a supermarket. Right. And if you did, you might be lining up for two hours to get outside. So right. we did one huge shop and we were able to keep everything in our camper and those refrigerators. Actually, we brought yeah. all our frozen wild game with us on the road. Those freezers can fit a lot more in them than what they oh, look yeah. like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can fit about four turkey breasts in that freezer. Yeah. And oh, yeah. a pile of fish. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so when you get done draining the lake or, you know, draining the bushes, you, you can fit everything you want in there. Absolutely. Ten cubic foot, and it is 12 volt, so yeah. you can run it while you're going down the road. Yep. Um, you know, a, a lot of the manufacturers just didn't have access to the uh, gas electric fridges uh, that we've had in the past this year. So... Uh, a lot of people who are getting the 2021 RVs are getting almost a free upgrade to that 10 cubic foot, 12, 12 volt fridge. It's very nice to have. It's also really uh, cost effective as well, because when mm -hmm. you're traveling to and from places, it can get pretty expensive buying food along the way yeah. and being able to pull over onto the side to a rest stop and hop into your camper and make yourself lunch. Yeah. It just saves a lot of money. Right. And, really and you know, People ask about turtling a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, with this one, you know, because you want to be able to access the bathroom yes. while, you know, while you're on the road. Since the bathroom is accessible from the garage, this one is turtle friendly, so you can access the bathroom while you're on the road. Yep, oh, and there's that, yeah, you were talking about the kitchen. Look yeah. at that beautiful grate on top of the oh, three yeah. burner cooktop there, flush mounted, seamless countertop, undermounted stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet, and plenty of prep space. Yes, exactly, and that's what I love about the great on top of the um, the stove as well. So you can mm -hmm. fold that back on top and that gives you an extra spot to be able to prep food too. Yeah. It's yeah. a nice to have when you're in there, right? It really is. And it also just makes it look really clean when you pack everything up. Right. Yeah. I love that. Aesthetically pleasing. Yes. I'm all about that. And <laughs> let's have a look, Fritz, at the uh, cabinets on top of the stove. Yes. This is really important for putting all of your, your toasters when you're mm -hmm. on the road, all of your crockery, everything like that. And those things have got loads of space. Yeah. Look at that. Large, they're high and deep. Yeah, which, you know, with these high profile, yeah. you know, or full profile travel trailers, you're going to get more headroom in the cabinet. Yes. Which and really we've got a out. microwave right there, which mm -hmm. is just amazing as well. Yes. Flush mounted. That's a 0.9 cubic feet on the microwave. So you can get a dinner plate in there. Oh yeah, for sure. Just absolutely beautiful. But you know, the great thing about toy haulers is the garage, the versatility. Yes. Oh, so I'm let's waiting. go take a look at this gorgeous garage. Yes, I'm waiting to show to you guys. You got a 12 foot, six inch garage in this <laughs> 2021 Forest River XLR Nitro Boost 29 <gasps> QBS. <gasps> and I like the way that they did the sofas oh, for yeah. 2021. And look at how large that space is. It's yeah, huge. It's huge. Just 12 feet, six it. inches. Huge. Okay. I don't know where, I, I'm going to start with my favorite thing about this because. This is, it's just amazing. The extension, the balcony. Yes. Is that not amazing? The party deck. It's so cool. The party, the party deck. deck. It just extends your entire living quarters. Yep. And if you've got a dog as well, it just lets them be outside. You know, your dog always wants to be outside, but sometimes you don't want to have to have them on a leash. Right. So you can have them sitting on the party deck. Yep. And yeah. with that suspension barrier going around, you got the security to keep them there without yes. having to worry about running off. Or the off. little kids. Or the little know. kids. Yeah. And it's adjustable too. So you can have one side open, the other side not, not open. But if you've not had a chance to pull up to a lake, Oh. Just pull that thing, back that thing down about six, seven feet from the water edge, fold the party deck off, and then fish off the back I mean, of the party luxury. deck. It's beautiful. You got the high ground. Luxury. You got the advantage of the high ground. It's luxury. Yeah, waterfront real estate. Come yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but so, that is a 1,500-pound capacity on the party deck, 3,500-pound load capacity. The garage has a 2,000-pound capacity, but with it being 102 inches wide and 12 feet, 6 inches deep, yeah. you could easily get two you know, two blades in there if you oh, need to. Oh, yeah. Let's and talk about sofas. these benches. Yeah, <laughs> let me tell you what. Those are plush and comfortable. Now, you, you have two beds in here. Yeah. Those couches, which the table, once again, is underneath the, the bed and the master. Yep. But those are jackknife out. They don't fold over like, like the old style. Uh, they pull out and jackknife yeah. down. And that becomes, you know, your queen or full-size bed right there. Yes. And for us, you know, when we travel with pretty much always with another person mm -hmm. that's so nice because that's just a whole other bedroom we don't have to have the cam the camera guy can have his own space right. his own access to the bathroom when you've got guests it can be used as a party room or another bedroom right. or both 
you know, they can pack their stuff up of a day and you can party of a yeah. of a night time. Well, <laughs> somebody can be sitting in the living area right there on those Thomas Paine couches watching TV. Another group can be back here playing cards, yeah. talk, cleaning ducks, cleaning turkeys, doing yeah. whatever you want to do. Exactly. You got that rubberized floor. You got the 5,000 pound uh, rated D-rings down there. That's a nice to have because that's pretty strong. Most of them are using only 1,500, 2,500, somewhere around there. Yes. You know, these are 5,000 pounds. Yeah. Um, I mean, just a, a very nice, well-built, the XLR boosts are for the active lifestyle. Yes. They were really built for those folks that want to get out and do things to the extreme. Exactly. And now that you've said that about the fishing, I can just mm -hmm. imagine myself running out for a swim and then running back in and drying off in that room as well. Right. Yep. Yeah. And then going straight into the bathroom. Yep. Luxurious. There you go. Yep. Right there behind Fritz is the uh, entrance right into the bathroom, which is passed through. Great. Yep. You know, I just love the separation of space because yeah. like you mentioned before, somebody can be outside, come in and not disturb somebody who's in the master bedroom if they need to go to the bathroom. Yep. It's absolutely wonderful. A little separate apartment. It's amazing. What a great, great RV. And because you guys picked it, you know, we, we had to do a special deal. And you know how much I love you guys. They, they told me the price earlier. Yes. But since I'm up here and they can't really stop me now. Okay. You know, because like they said, in the wedding singer, I have the microphone. Yeah. We're going to start this one at $35 at $9.95 or as low as $8.61 a day. You're kidding. For a toy hauler. For a toy hauler that's 8,450 pounds dry, 36 feet, 10 inches long. You got a 100-gallon fresh tank. That's some of the largest you're going to find in the industry. 38-gallon gray, 38-gallon black. You got the Onan uh, or the Yamaha 4000 uh, generator. You got the option for either or. Uh, so having that is very nice because that Yamaha has the remote start. The Onan is a Cummins. Uh, so you can truly go off-grid and stay there for a while. Power yourself. You got a uh, 1,500-watt inverter if you got the solar panels. You want to trickle charge your battery. You, it's already pre-wired for solar. You got LGE, 4G, and Wi-Fi extension on it. So you can stay connected on the road. You can do all the producing and upload it if you want to. That's right. It really is your home away from home. And we picked out this unit because it was just perfect for the outdoors men and women. But at that price, it's like, what a way to kick off 2021, guys. Right. Yeah, if you're an outdoorsman, you've been thinking yeah. about getting into a camper. You should probably look at that one. Yeah. Right. This is one to check. And if you need to fuel the toys... Got a 30-gallon fuel station on there, too. And if you do get it, just send me a DM because we're going to come and party on that deck with you. <laughs> Could you imagine just, look, setting up, doing all the cooking in the kitchen, setting up and having fun out there? Oh, I love it. So, Fritz, let's, let's take a look at the outside of this one because they did update the graphics for 2021. Everything is brighter. Everything is lighter, interior yes. and exterior. That's a huge bonus as well. I love yeah. the lighter interior. And with these, you know, being so, – so this is an aluminum side. Now, there we see the marine-grade speakers that are backlit. You see those beautiful graphics? Yeah. There's an automotive coating on there, a tough coat mm -hmm. that is put on there that really stops the fading, also adds a little bit to the insulation. You got the blue LED lights. lights yeah, yeah, under the Forest River loves those blue LED lights. I love them too. Yeah, they are really cool. They're really cool of a nighttime as well. If you're having a hangout and maybe you, you're in a um, RV park and you go hang out and talk to some other people and you can find your way back really easy. Right. You know? Solid steps going into the master, extra large grab handle for security. And underneath there is the body armor enclosed and heated underbelly. Yeah, those steps are solid. Yes. Makes a huge difference. Yep. Super sturdy. Because, I mean, how many times, well, I don't know about you guys, but I, I can't count the number of times when you're My coming trip. out in the middle of the night, yeah, yeah and just end up face first into the dirt and or the gravel. look at that storage. Yeah, yeah that's, that's important huge, for us. huge, huge. That's accessible from the uh, bed. And look, there's our table that goes yep. in the back. That's another thing I like yes. about the toy haulers. Yeah. Is you got a table that you can sit back in the garage. You can sit it sit in the main the area, sit it outside. Yeah. yeah. Now, Chris, it's what did you say about the heated underbelly since we are in Minnesota? <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. So it is, a, it is enclosed and heated, which means not only will you not have to worry about the gravel popping up and hitting the tanks when you're driving down the road, but that forced air that goes in there will help keep the tanks from freezing because if you've ever, ever had a frozen black or gray tank, yeah. boy, that's a bad day. Yeah. That, that is uh, a bad that day. That would be fun. That's, Round, yeah. This unit really has everything that you need to just get on the road and go and have a good time, doesn't yeah. it? Well, it's, it's a great entry-level toy hauler, but it's, it's packed full of features because with the XLR Nitros, they wanted you to kind of you know, get everything that you needed with some upgraded features. Uh, we got... Uh, well, it looks like a brother and a sister there with the LP tanks. Powered tongue jack, diamond-plated rock guard, 
Seamless Superflex roof going over the top, too, which is fully walkable, extra insulation. Just looks good going down the road. I like the blue on the black there. And, uh, Fritz, let's go back around to that campsite, and uh, we'll finish off right back there. So going the, back to uh, what you said before, how yeah. much a day, Chris? So this one you can get as low as $8.61 a day. Guys, you're welcome. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> for your chance to get out, take your toys with you, or if you need to get that separation to space, these are great for yeah. tailgating, hunting, well, Maybe fishing. your husband's just annoying you, and you just want to go and sit on the back deck and read a book. <laughs> That's I know your how way you do it, ladies. Experience. That's your way to do it. I mean, look at that. You got connections outside. You got the TV mount outside. Those marine-grade speakers uh, with the you know LED backlit or, uh, on top of the LED blue light coming yeah. off of that awning, it's very man. slick. It does. It's, it yeah. makes the campsite fun. Yeah, and they've got yeah exactly, and they those speakers are really great. Like you, yeah. they really have a lot of extension. So Chris, if you're looking, you, what's that? You might have sold us on this unit. We're yeah, gonna we be telling you, man. Get it for I think you need this one. So if you like this, this is the 2021 Forest River XLR Nitro Boost, 29 QBS, 36 feet 10 inches long, roughly 84 100 pounds. And you're looking at starting at $35,995 or as low as $8.61 a day. Look at that beautiful. Look, there's that blue light. I love it. There it is. All right. Well, if you guys day. can't find me for the rest of the day, that's where that's, I'll be yeah. sitting. <laughs> I yeah. think we pull this up to the lake and yeah. see if we can cast and catch. <laughs> so just drop us a comment down below deals or text deals to 46642 for your chance to take advantage of this pick that Zach and Mary have given us, the beautiful 2021 Forest River XLR Nitro Boost 29 QBS, dual 13.5 BTU ACs, 35,000 BTU furnace, 5,000 BTU fireplace, what else you need? What else you need? You need to breathe, Chris. <laughs> I do need to breathe. I need wow. to go get me one of you these. You said that all in one breath. <laughs> <laughs> Text deals to 46642 or drop us a comment down below deals. Let's find out what else is coming with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour next. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Hey guys, I'm Zach Phillips. And I'm Mary O'Neill Phillips, and this is Forrest Gump, and we're from Country Outdoors. We film an adventure tour on the Outdoor Channel, and we use the camper for our home base. We've had so much fun over the last year, in and out of hunting camps, fishing, hunting turkeys, hunting deer, playing with our dog, and guess what? We have some RV pro tips just for you. And these are our RV pro tips on how to pack your RV for a hunting trip. We've had about a year now to figure out our storage, where to put things, where not to put things, and I think we finally have it figured out. My first tip is all about storage and purchasing the right storage containers, which you can get at Camping World depending on what you need, whether or not it's storing your weapons, your clothing, your camera gear. You really need to have everything stored up so that it doesn't knock around and you don't break it. By nature, RVs are a small space, but they put a lot of thought into storage in these things. So you need to really take a look at it and utilize the storage to the best of your abilities. We have a toy hauler, so I essentially just have my garage behind my truck at all times. So I just put a lot of thought into how I pack it to where everything fits. There's a lot of room. We can put kayaks in it. I put my camera gear and cases back there, coolers, ATV. There's a lot of room back there, so it's a little bit of a game of Tetris sometimes, but you just gotta look at it and think about how to best effectively pack it and unpack it. One of the benefits that I love of having a toy hauler is it gives us a lot closer access to where we are hunting. We can pull the unit up, we can drive out on the ATV and get really close to the deer stand and we don't have to do an hour or so drive to get into there. I use some of the drawers in the unit to put all of the electrical cords away because when you are driving and you're moving the slides in and out, they can actually get stuck in there and that's a really nasty thing to happen. 
between locations, we're driving on a lot of bumpy roads or off roads. So in the kitchen, we just utilize the storage and the cabinets for putting things that are breakable so that we don't have them shattered all over the floor. We've learned that lesson the hard way by leaving wine bottles out on the counter. Now I store them in one of the kitchen drawers and I put some of my little kitchen mats in between them. Yeah, and one time the big container of coffee spilled on the floor and I walked in and there was just coffee all over the camper. So store those in the right spot. And make sure you also purchase a broom. Our outdoor storage I use just for anything that I don't want inside the house, whether it's equipment for the jack stands, the truck, uh, extra gas cans, anything that I don't want to be in the house goes in the outside storage. I also use the outdoor storage for storing the outdoor mats, the decorative outdoor mat, and all of the sloppy dog toys. In our toy hauler, we have storage under our bed and also under our sofa slash dinette. I use those to store blankets and any of the linen that we have. The best way to maximize storage space for a hunting trip is to plan effectively. Uh, spend time in preparation and take what you need and leave the rest at home. Prior to a trip, we always make a list and just make sure that we have all the products we need. We almost always have our generator, always have a cooler, a good pair of optics. Clothing, boots, obviously our weapon, and snacks. A lot of snacks. A lot of snacks. But yeah, the point is we make a list and we go through it so that we don't overpack in that area, but we pack smart. We utilize the space for our hunting gear by being very selective on what we take. We use a lot of storage boxes. So we will have one storage box for our clothing, one storage box for the weapons that we decide to use, and then another storage box for camera gear. I would recommend that you know the weight limit of what your RV can carry and plan effectively. Uh, with a toy hauler, we're carrying an ATV. That adds a whole lot of weight. So when you're doing that, think about what else you're carrying. Do you have a full tank of water on board? or do you keep it empty? And how much stuff do you actually bring that you don't need? So you pack effectively and uh, be mindful of how much weight you're supposed to have on the camper. Besides the obvious, the most important thing that you can pack is your clothing. Pay attention to the weather and pack appropriately. If you are underdressed and you're in the elements, you're not gonna be in the elements for very long or you're gonna be in a bad situation that's potentially dangerous. For me, the most important thing to pack, aside from my weapon, is a GPS. I'm a little bit directionally challenged and things could get pretty hairy if I didn't know where I was going. Hopefully these RV Pro Tips were helpful. Make sure to check out the other Camping World RV Pro Tips to take your RV knowledge to the next level. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With plans as low as $5.50 a month, you can't afford to get stuck without it. Oh, that's the end of day two already. It's like, bam, it's over like that. Hot so deals, quick. customer picks, partner picks. We get all kinds of stuff. Great pick, by the way. Thanks. Love Thank that. You. My favorite part, I think, of day two uh, <laughs> were, the were the chairs. <laughs> Squeaky because chair. Every time you moved, it squeaked and it just. Uh, I know, it was embarrassing. I thought maybe you guys might think it was something else, but it wasn't. It was embarrassing for me. What'd y'all have for lunch? Anyway, but we, we're having a great time with the hottest deals possible. We've seen so many wonderful things. We also have ultimate giveaways, Tiffany. Yes. Uh, we have another UT250 Power Sport that we're giving away, and I love the fact that uh, we have so many Coleman products to do that with. I know, I feel like it's you get a UT, you get a UT 250, you get a UT 250, you guys get, yes. Actually not you, this time we yeah. have our winner though, Woo! and that is gonna be Elizabeth Tuma. Congratulations. Congratulations, Elizabeth. This is so exciting. You're Woo! our resident singer and I, I love that. <laughs> and you know what we're doing tomorrow, at the end of day three, somebody is going to win an RV. So if you're not registered, here's how you do it. We'll make it really easy for you. It's very easy. Simply text URVS to 46642 or comment below right here, URVS 46642. It's that simple. And here's the cool thing. Uh, Zach, what we're going to do tomorrow is, I know where Mary's going to be. She's going to be in that unit that you guys were just looking at with Chris. 
She'll be on the balcony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out where all that storage space is going to go. Again, 11 a.m. Eastern is when we're kicking off day number three. And again, if you have any questions at all, you can also text RV to 46642 about anything that you have seen for day two. You guys ready for day three? Cannot wait. Absolutely. Way. We've got some big stuff planned for you tomorrow, so make sure you join us. 11 a.m. Eastern. We'll see you then. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Lunar New Year! Yes! Woo! Ha, ha, ha.